And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. The crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you, Anon. Thank you. What the fuck is going on? He fucking took twin side the all the like kingdom and he turned it into like some kind of a cocoon. What the fuck? Is that was like his regular ship? Is that his ship? Before he came here? <laughs> oh fuck. I thought we like I don't know somewhat kill him. Cause he started screaming. Like he was in pain. Okay, everything's so confusing. Who the hell is Logos? Are we Logos now? Not Mythos no more? Back to the origin. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about it. I am Logos. A new kind of being. Let me talk to him first. It might change. 
Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature, that they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canberra is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? certainly looked that way from stone here if that were true it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance would it not and as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface it pulls corrupting all who cannot channel its energies rk above Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Wait, I got new stuff. What do you take on this? There is much to consider. Give me a sec. I got new stuff. What you got for me? Clive. Go on then. 
you melt. Fuck. I need the potions. Fuck. You're robbing me blind, you know. Oh, I'm I'll not. Find a better price than that. Is that all? What you got? Did I get something from Ultima? Do you like a unit equipment? What do I owe the honor? What do you want? Now oh, this is Excalibur. Fuck. It'd last you a good while. No, I had to save my or click him. I gotta save it. I gotta save it, fucker. I don't wanna Not use bad, it. If I do say so Wait, is this stronger? Yeah, this shit is stronger. Fuck. Anything else? Wait, where the hell is Joshua you know, like shocked? Did, did he notice something? Like he doesn't wanna tell us? Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. 
He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man he knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Oh no. See. No. She might fuck it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Jill. The only way. to wish on a star <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea this is it Jill you know what I have to do why well, I have to do it there's no turning back now this is where our journey was leading us where it will end for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Feels like this is the end of the mission again. Fuck. Alright, what we got? In the mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spent all the time late on the, the rear deck whimpering like Gav in this cup. Something ain't right. And my guys tell me it's not for the to do with the supply of antelope bones. What is it this time, Togo? Does he know? Does he know what's going to happen? That this is pretty much the end of the game. It's actually a lost toe. Recall, uh, reluctant that I am to answer your burden. I will ask you the end in the personal matter. A petite one that might be beneficial in your case. There exists an uh, ancient text deeming the injurious to a modern thought that the possession is a demon's a crime. You have a chance to encounter with the such tome from a distant. That spark within the scholar take curiosity with the burns to the very day. I wish to enlist you in the aid of reclaiming this text. So you require the further uh, ascendant. Knowing that I'm willing to offer a compensation for the service rendered. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Does anyone has a plus sign? Holy shit! How many fucking side quests are? Holy fuck! That the nope. There's fucking more. There's fucking more. Oh, oh shit! There's so many. Oh, what's going on with you? Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. 
But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test, then? One can never have too many scouts. Truer words, Sid. I'll let the Initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. I'm gonna try and get in every fucking side mission here. Holy fuck. God damn. Why you need a side mission? Oh, uh, Clive. What's going on with you? Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. Uh, it's... Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will. How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. God damn it. <laughs> so many side missions. Where the fuck are they all? Fuck, there's some up there. Alright, Uncle, why you need a side mission? What's going on with you? Clive, my boy! Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes. But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the High Commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. I thought he was retired. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. 
And he has certain qualms about clasping arms with, well, with an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course, but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. You don't mind, do you, my boy? Of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. No. Thank you, Clive. Alright. God damn. Oh my god, I I want this fucking sword, damn it. What do I need? So what it be? I need dark steel. Where the fuck I get the dark steel? Oh well well hunting. I gotta check. I gotta check online. This is pretty much the end, so I need to check. Ultima was a fucking bitch. Fuck. Wait, I gotta check online. How do we fucking get the dark steel? Who has it? And Cause I want to see it already. So yeah, I'm going to cheat and look who 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 are my targets. Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter, and something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her, bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception. But we travel together, and we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit Walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. So she escaped? I fucking knew it. Did I do it? Oh, let me let me go check all the dialogue. Fuck! There's so many side quests. I just want to end everything. Side quests I have done. What do like you think happened to Miss Middledore? What? I heard she was kicked out of the university. Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. But that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Mid at all. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. 
That's what I said, in the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stonehear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's going to put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that? For us? She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I don't know how many side quests I have already. But here's the last one I could pick up. Who are you? Who? Who? I will not let them be forgotten. Hey, why do you need help? Sid, may I have a moment? Of course. It is an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the Curse Breakers for some time now. And uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone and few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names, but they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. You are a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. Vida Grace. Hidden in a forest, overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you. I actually want to help this guy. Fuck. Let's see. That's all the side quests I, uh, I picked up. Yeah. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to cheat. I wish to get the fucking sword. So yeah, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> give me a sec. Alrighty then. Let's see. Uh, here's the world. So yeah. The dark seal is from this motherfucker. And the other one's going to be another, uh, you know, a falcon bounty. But I had to do a fucking side quest. I had to do a motherfucking side quest. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck it. I had to do it. Because I want this sword. I need a... I need a fucking strong sword to fucking fight Ultima. Motherfucker almost killed me. Are they still fighting with the Duke? Is the Duke still like... 
Can I run run this place? Oh, maybe we're gonna see. Are we gonna like progress the story of the about the Duke? Do you have a moment, Clive? What is it? It's the Duke. Unsurprisingly, his eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Of course. Whatever you need. Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle... drastic? Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy, I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve, which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch, but perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. You know, it was kind of weird. Oh, Joshua's with me, fuck. I forgot he was with me. The, 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 the daughter. Do people actually wear that hat? The hat looks so fucking weird. Do you think people's use? Well, I know they were like similar, but they were smaller. Is someone actually wearing it like that? That big? 
So you are content to abandon... Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. She cornered you too, then? Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the Dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of... Uh, you know what. They're back. Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyth. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. God damn. Man, she doesn't care about, well, the safety of the people. She cares about only the defeating her father. Of, uh, you know, this goddamn charade. Of him caring about. Go. Run like the wind. Hearing about the fucking empire, the empire should serve it, all that bullshit. But I think he's trying to be the new fucking emperor. I mean, who's gonna be the new emperor? I sure Dion won't, wouldn't be. Damn it. The reports were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. And Dion is still blame himself for what happened. There we go. Let's end this. Fuck. <laughs> I knew there were gonna be more. Be more, you know, like a, maybe a fucking mini boss is gonna come out. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. Are you all right? I am, but it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, that's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. Now, you head back to Northreach. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople, stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have a marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. Do you 
not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as Great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted! Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a branded. <gasps> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, oh, fuck. There's no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order! While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame? What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! But she is but a common. Whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, milady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right. But take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame.
Fuck. <laughs> oh, those fucking bastards. What are you guys doing now? Percival Creek. Wherefore would you forsake me? Father. Oh, they finally reunited. Like, <laughs> they actually care about each other now. Fuck. Fucking bastard. I don't know why. But oh, the fucking Duke is trying to run, run away. Trying to grab a bunch of his men. Now everybody knows that he's a fucking coward. Where, how the fuck did you see the enemies? They're like, they teleport. There are so many of them. Not for long. Here we go. They're all dead now. Is it over? No. What the fuck you say that? It's only just begun. Fuck! Ah! Why's the big one here? Did it hit me? I'm not really sure. I don't know, but I'm out of that fucking explosion. Alright, I gotta, I gotta kill the these little henchmen. Is there one more here, or did I think Torgo took care of it? to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. Clive, it's good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. 
for the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of Empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. Not by force. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. But by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, Your Eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory, while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbrek is naught without her citizens. I forgot that. And I am sorry. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your Eminence. Your ladyship, I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see... That it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Oh. Can we get you anything? I thought he's gonna like fight back or something. Like, it's like, how dare you guys There's betray no me all that? But I still can't get, uh, like, enough with the, 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 the lady's hat. It's all fucking weird. I saw several soldiers being carried to the Vale. Yeah, people actually were like that in the old days. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm, but I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Who 
Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard. The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving. Half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here. In Northreach. It was the veil that took us in. That fed us. Clothed us. And healed our hurts. Those that could be healed at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did. Not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Veil. Vale. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Here we go. I got the... Oh yeah, I need to still need to find the chamber. What the fuck? They give me this shit too? Fuck! So I didn't have to fight the dragon. God damn it.